like to call the meeting to order. Mrs. Burns, roll call, please. Mr. Sullivan? Here. Mrs. Hellenbeck? Present. Mr. Allen? Present. Mrs. Lafferty? Here. Mrs. Marshall? Here. Mr. Rodriguez is absent with present notice. Mr. Sporney? Here. Mrs. Walbazer? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. The board met in executive session this evening to discuss employment matters related to business administrator position, labor matters related to the beginning of NFT negotiations and confidential student related matters. Mrs. Burns, any announcements? No announcements. Mr. Bowman, superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, our new artwork uh, in the room is from some of our high school students in Mr. Burst class. Um, we will also have items uh, on display from our students in Representative Hogan's office uh, in Pendell this month. Uh, second marking period has been extended one day and will now end on January 29th. Report cards will be released in Home Access Center 3 p.m. Friday the 2nd for parents looking for student grades. Uh, last week we experienced something we haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, had our first snow day in over two years on Tuesday and a repeat snowstorm and snow day Friday. I uh, want to give special thanks and recognition to our facilities and operations departments. Uh, for quickly shifting into snow mode to clear parking lots and sidewalks after both storms. I want to thank our bus drivers and our transportation department for extra effort getting buses cleaned and cleared and dealing with many weather and scheduling challenges all week long. Uh, we got lucky with weather last year. Um, at some point we knew that would probably come to an end and here we are. Uh, our crews were up to the challenge. We appreciate everything you do to keep our students and staff safe every day. Uh, this Past Saturday, I had the pleasure of attending the annual Minithon, uh, Mini Minithon, I'm sure, I'm sorry, at Neshaminy High School. This is the middle school version of the high school's Minithon, uh, which will, uh, high school's Minithon will be held on Friday, February 9th. Our middle schoolers raised $5,715 to support Four Diamonds, the foundation associated with the Penn State Thon that supports pediatric cancer victims and cancer research. Our congratulations and thanks to all those involved uh, and to all the donors and to our staff that put in time on a Saturday uh, to come to enjoy some time with our students as well. Uh, finally, I want to thank our school board members for everything they do all year as we celebrate School Directors Recognition Month. Uh, it's important to remember they're all volunteers. There's no pay to serve on this board. I'm not sure if they all know that yet. Um, and for that, they sign up four more years of attending board meetings, committee meetings, training sessions, corresponding with parents, administrators, and community members, reading and comprehending a never-ending supply of complicated documents that we give them, and making major decisions that affect our 9,800 students, our 1,300 staff members, and our $205 million budget. It's a big operation. I believe serving on school board is one of the most important contributions that one can make to the community, and I thank each of you for all the time and effort you put into this important task. Uh, lastly, I have three plaques that came from the Pennsylvania School Boards Association uh, for three of our board members uh, to recognize them for eight years of service. That's a long time. Uh, Ms. Hollenbach, uh, eight years. Mr. Sullivan, eight years. And Mr. Allen, eight years. Thank you very much for your service. And that is all I have, Mr. Sullivan. Mrs. Burns, anyone signed up for public comment? There were no sign-ups. Okay. That brings us to routine matters. I'd like to make a master motion to approve item 2.01 minutes, 2.02 treasurer's report, 2.03 check register and procurement card purchases, 2.04 investments, and 2.05 exonerations. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Hollenbeck. Comments or questions? All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes 7 0. Carlos is in here.
personnel administrative, Ms. Mrs. Lafferty. I'd like to make a master motion 3.01 appointments resolved that the, oh, that's not master. And 3.02 leaves of absent. I have a motion on the floor. Can I get a second? Second by Mrs. Marshall. Any comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Personnel certificated. Nolan, I just want to uh, recognize uh, on 3.01, uh, the board just appointed our new business administrator uh, here in the Chamonix, uh, Deborah Clayhold. Um, she comes to us from Potts Grove Area School District, uh, and we are very, very excited to have her on our team and bring her to our district uh, and look forward to getting her started as soon as we can. So thank you for your support and bringing her to the Okay, Personnel cert certificated, Mrs. Hollenbeck. I'd like to make a master motion <clears throat> for personnel certificated, 4.01 retirements resignations and of assignments 4.02 appointments 4.03 revised returns from leave 4.04 leaves of absence 4.05 co-curricular resignations and 4.06 co-curricular appointments can i get a second on that motion second, second by mr sporny any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Personnel support, <coughs> Mr. Allen. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. I'd like to put a motion on the floor for 5.01, the appointments. Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the following appointments of support staff. There is a list of 11 names I like to say one through four, six through seven, nine, and eleven. Can I get a second on that motion. Second. Second by Mrs. Lafferty. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes seven zero. Thank you. I'd like to place a motion on the floor for five point oh two ancillary appointments. Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the following ancillary appointments of support staff, and there are two names on that list. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Hollenbeck. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. 6.01, Mr. Sworney. Sure, I'd like to make a motion 6.01 appointment of treasurer, whereas Don Irwin, business administrator of the Shamney School District, was appointed as treasurer at the May 23rd, 2023 public school board meeting, and whereas Mr. Irwin resigned from the Shamney School District effective December 31, 2023. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Shamney Board of School Directors hereby appoints David Zablowski to serve the remainder of the treasurer's term, which ends May 31st, 2024, with no additional compensation associated with the appointment. I have a motion on the floor. Can I get a second? Second, second by Ms. Walpizer. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Uh, 6.02, Mrs. Walpizer. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion 6.02 appointment of district business administrator resolve that the Nishamini board of school directors hereby one approves the appointment of Deborah L. Clayhold as the bus district business administrator with the start date no later than May 1st, 2024 for a ter term of five years at a starting annual salary of $190,000 pursuant to the additional items, additional terms and conditions of an employment agreement to be prepared, finalized, and approved by the district solicitor and acting superintendent, and two, authorizes and directs the execution of said agreement by the board secretary and board president pursuant to 24 PS section 4-427 of the school code. We have a motion on the floor. Can I get a second? Second. 
Second by Mrs. Lafferty. Any comments or questions? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Mr. Bevan, you want to say something again? I'd like to make a master motion to approve item 6.03, replacement of the 2023-2024 school year annual appointments, and 6.05, BCIU truancy and services agreement. 6.04. Oh, 6.04. Can I get a second? Second by Mrs. Marshall. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. 6.05, Mrs. Marshall. I'd like to make a motion 6.05 settlement agreement. Motion to approve the attached settlement agreement for the estate of Merle S. Pepper and also authorizing the acting superintendent to execute the attached settlement agreement so that the district can receive as beneficiary and fund a scholarship as outlined in the last will and testament of Merle S. Pepper in the amount of $1,000 per year for an academically talented and financially needy graduating female senior going to college. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Hollenbeck. Any comments or questions? Mr. Sporny? No, Mr. Boone. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, just on behalf of the Shammy School District, we want to thank the Ms. Pepper and the Pepper family. Uh, Ms. Pepper was a 35-year reading teacher here in the Chamonix School District, uh, and I think uh, we will be able to fund scholarships for quite some time. So we are greatly appreciative, as are our students. So thank you. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Educational development. I'd like to make a master motion to approve item 7.01 overnight trips. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Policy, Mrs. Lafferty. I'd like to master motion eight, uh, policy 8.01 first reading of policy and 8.02 policy retirement. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Marshall. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. That brings us to the closing of the meeting. Anyone have any other board business? All right, that brings us to the second public comment period. Anyone wish to make a public comment? Please proceed to the podium now. Okay, I guess no takers on that. That brings us to board comment. Any board comment? Mr. Allen, you don't have to raise your hand now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Salmon. I just wanted to uh, read something quick from the tech school that I'm very proud of. On Thursday, January 11th, one of our Bucks County Technical High School teachers began to choke while he was eating lunch. Two of the students, Michael Howard and Madeline Egan, jumped into action. Michael began the Heimlich maneuver. Madeline went to find help. Um, and uh, clearly their help was successful. <laughs> but uh, for those two students to step up, I mean, that, that's remarkable. It shouldn't be remarkable. I don't mean it quite like that, but uh, I think that's commendable too. Um, Mr. DeGeorge uh, presented the students with a certificate and a gift card for the quick thinking and heroic actions. I just wanted to bring that to the public's attention. Anyone else? Okay. I'd like to make a motion to close the meeting then. Second. Okay. Everyone have a good night. <laughs> I wasn't sure where that story was going to end. <laughs>